I have created a very simple voice project consisting of a sound effect and a music track. Two events with a play command for both audio objects. And a sound bank that contains both events. There are a few things that you need to set up to make WISE work with Godot. Go to the WISE project settings and switch to the Soundbanks tab. Here, make sure to disable the Use Soundbank Names option and to enable the Generate Header File option. Select a path for the header file. This can really be anywhere inside the Godot project. The location doesn't matter too much. I will put the file into the Generate Soundbanks folder inside the WISE directory in the Godot project. We want to also select the right paths for the Soundbanks. So look for the corresponding named Platform folders in the Generate Soundbanks folder in the Godot project. Here I am selecting the Mac folder for the macOS Soundbank and I will do the same for the Windows Soundbank. That's it. The WISE authoring project is correctly set up and you can now generate the sound banks. Switching to Godot, let's verify that the banks are actually in the project by looking at the generate sound banks folder. And in fact, we can find the banks for both platforms and also can find the exported header file, which basically maps the wise objects as banks or events or states to unique IDs we can access in GDScript and in the custom nodes. But to do that, we have to convert this header file to GDScript. Navigate to Project Tools and select the Convert Wise IDs entry in the menu. Then find and select the exported header file. You will get a confirmation message in the output console saying that everything went OK. If we now navigate to the Generate Soundbanks folder, we will find the converted Wise IDs. Just a warning, because of an existing bug in Godot, you will need to restart the Godot editor for the IDs to be recognized by the custom nodes. You will need to do that every time you convert the header file. I hope that this bug will get resolved soon and I will update this video in the future if that will be the case. So after restarting Godot, we can try to add an AK event node to the tree and as you can see, the event field is now populated with two events that were included in the soundbanks exported before. That's it for this video, you know how to configure the Wise Atoring project and connect your files to Godot now. See you next time.